Okay, here's our video today. The blue whale. It's actually more like a gray blue or a Pelham blue. Pelham blue is a color Gibson guitars. If you were into guitars, they had this kind of a Pelham blue type of guitar they made in the 60s. Well, not quite Pelham blue, but anyway, here it is, this blue whale, and it's the largest animal ever. All right, we have to put the word ever, so let's get our pen going. And when, we, when I say large, when I say large, I mean heaviest. It's the heaviest, it's the most, most massive, most massive animal ever. That's, uh, that's the big thing, ever, that's right, ever. Well, let's switch the pen, let's get green, see if green works better there. So it's the, it's the heaviest animal ever to live on planet Earth. And since we don't know if life exists anywhere else, we're going to say, as far as we know, in the solar system, perhaps the galaxy, perhaps the universe, we don't, we're not sure. It's heavier than the dinosaurs by far. It's not just the most massive. It's the most massive by far in all of the history of planet Earth and now. So if you think about the dinosaurs, Argentinosaurus, it's double what Argentinosaurus was. Let's get a clean page here. Let's, let's get some analogies going. I mean, it's large, right? It's, it's long and it's large, it's massive. And look at all those human beings we have to line up and the shark and the humpback whale. It is a big creature. And we have to ask ourselves, why is it so big? So we'll talk about that in the video. And here's a little picture of Argentinosaurus, which is the largest dinosaur so far we know. And that came in and we just, should we have our pen ready? Let's stick with green. A little arrow over here. That can't, comes in perhaps at 100 tons. But when we look at the blue whale, using green for the blue whale, the blue whale can reach 200 tons. So you can see the difference right there. 100 tons for a gentinosaurus. Let's write it down in case you want to, you want to know more about it. Gentinosaurus, get the U in there, right? Writing on an angle today, right? There it is, 100 tons. And you think about the elephant. The elephant's about seven tons. The woolly mammoths that lived in the Ice Age, the last Ice Age we had, about seven tons also. And the most famous dinosaur, perhaps, T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus, that was about seven, eight tons, about the same weight of the elephant. But this blue whale, 200 tons. Massive, very massive. So like I said earlier, you know, why is it so big? Why is nothing even close to it? The second biggest whale is the right whale. That's 100 tons, about the same size as Argentinosaurus that you see in this art, artist's picture. And so scientists kind of think, well, it's probably diet. And you say, whoa, well, diet. There's something called lunge feeding. So let's get a clean page. And here's its diet. This little krill. Look how small it is. And so we're saying, so scientists are saying that because it eats krill, this little tiny creature, it's massive, which is really hard to understand. So I'll write over here. This is krill. It's not a shrimp, but it's shrimp-like. So we'll say shrimp-like. And the blue whale eat only krill. So the blue whale, let's use blue for the blue whale, why not? The blue whale eats only krill. That's it. Krill for breakfast, krill for lunch, krill for dinner. That's all it eats. It specializes in krill. And like I said before, it has this thing called lunge feeding. And all lunge feeding is is where it opens its mouth and just gulps down millions of krill in one sitting. And so a blue whale can eat about, 
maybe four to six tons of krill a day. It's an enormous amount of krill. And that's all it eats. And so scientists think because of this, it's so massive. Then we have to ask ourselves, well, there are other whales out there that also do lunge feeding. So why aren't they as big as the blue whale? And by the way, the blue whale, very important, has no teeth. It needs to do this lunge feeding. Let's get a picture of what it has. So here's our gray blue whale. Right? And there's the elephant, so you can see the difference in size. Actually, this picture is not that accurate. The blue whale will be even much bigger than that. But if you notice here, let me get my pen going. We'll stay, let's stick with blue. Why not? Right here, you can see those aren't teeth, right? They're more like, they're called baleen plates. Let me write that down. Baleen plates. And so when the blue whale opens its mouth, it's volumes of ocean water are coming in when it sees the krill. And so that water kind of sifts right through these baleen plates and it takes in the krill. So again, these are the baleen plates. And again, when water comes in, these plates, like act, they act like a sieve, right? So the water comes in and gets drained out as it captures all that krill. So remember, they do not have teeth. So here we are back to our krill. They kind of look like shrimp, right? So again, the blue whale only eats these tiny creatures. And again, now we'll show it. Let's put white. Why not? So they're eating anywhere between, like I said before, four to six tons of this. They open their mouths. They sieve the water right through with their baleen, the baleen plates. I don't baleen plates again. And they're just eating this and they're specialized. And the thing to remember about krill that may account for the blue whale size is they're not, they're not easy to catch. You know, a lot of predators can eat krill, but they'll also eat other things. And since the blue whale is specialized only eating krill, it has to have a body to catch these things. So the, the blue whale is fast for its size. It has to be fast for its size. I and mean, it's not as fast as an orca or a shark or a dolphin, but it's fast for its size. It can... can it can reach 20 miles per hour if needed. That's short bursts. So they're not easy to catch these krill, and you have to go long distances to find them. And that's a big key for the blue whale also, is they have, I'll write it over here, the blue whale can travel long distances. Better than any other whale. And you have to when you're catching these krill, because these krill are in all different parts of the world. And the reason they can is the blue whale has large energy reserves. That's large energy reserves. So krills are not easy to catch. They're in different parts of the world. Blue whales have to travel long distances to find them and it has that energy reserve to find them, and it has that enormous size for that energy reserve. And it's also, they can maneuver pretty well for their size. Let's put energy reserves in there, if I got it, energy reserves. All right, and there's another thing interesting about the blue whale. It is one of the loudest animals on Earth. It's second to the pistol shrimp. So let's get a let's clear that out. All right, and here's our there's those baleen plates you're seeing as they sieve out the water, the ocean water, and take in the krill. Like I said, they are one of the loudest animals, second loudest animals on Earth. They can reach decibels. Let's see if this fits over here. 188 decibels. That's a jet engine. 
That's a jet engine. They can make those sounds. So they're loud. Seconds of the pistol shrimp. And then you have to think about it. Well, who's going to hunt these beasts? The only other animal that would even attempt to hunt this thing would be an orcas in pods. And there have been occasions where orcas have hunted the blue whale. But you got to be careful hunting a blue whale. If that tail hits you, it's over. So it doesn't have many predators. In fact, the only predator would be the blue whale. I mean, excuse me, it would be the orca. And that's rare too. So the orcas in pods will attempt it. Because remember, the orcas are probably the second smartest animal on this planet. Second or third to the chimp. Or maybe they're smarter than chimps. So again, the video today on the blue whale, they don't have teeth. They eat only krill. And they're the largest animals ever to walk. Well, they don't walk, but ever to live on planet Earth.